<laughs> I like that. I'm going to steal it. That's mine now. Today's video is brought to you by Card Kingdom, and you can pre-order all of the Strixhaven cards you need right now by heading over to CardKingdom.com. Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another edition of Against the Odds, and this week, we're going to try to beat our modern opponents to death with our own cards after stealing them with Turgrid and Deathcloud and Curse of the Cabal and a bunch of other stuff, so let's talk about our Turgrid Deathcloud deck, jump into some games, see if it actually works. Alright, so here is our Turgrid Deathcloud cloud deck and our plan is actually pretty straightforward step one resolve turret so if our opponent sacks or discards a permanent we get to seal it we occasionally play turgrid's lantern but really the main payoff is turgrid uh, to get turgrid on the battlefield fast enough we got a bunch of ramp arbor elf utopia's brawl mindstone garrick so this speeds us into turgrid and also our finisher so our biggest bad is finisher death cloud triple black and x each player loses x life to Discards X cards, sacks X creatures, and sacks X lands. So the way this works is, if we can get down Turgrid and resolve a Death Cloud, we don't get our opponent's lands because of how it resolves unless somehow our Turgrid sticks on the battlefield, but we are going to get all of our opponent's creatures and any permanents they discard from hand on our side of the battlefield, and since all the lands and hands and other creatures are gone, we should be able to just beat our opponent to death with their own stuff. If we don't find Death Cloud, we can cast a big Torment of Hailfire with our ramp which makes our opponent sack or discard or lose life, and maybe my favorite, but probably the worst of our sacrifice effects, Curse of the Cabal, it's a weird one, 10 mana, target player sacks half their permanents rounded down, or you can suspend it for two turns with four counters, but the beginning of each player's upkeep, if it's suspended, a player can sack a permanent if they do add two time counters on it, so a, a way to make our opponent sacrifice maybe every other turn if we suspend it, or if we get to 10 mana, just get half of their stuff. Otherwise, our removal, Liliana, and Liliana's Triumph makes our opponent sacrifice so we can steal stuff with Turgrid. Liliana's Triumph, insane if we have Liliana since it's discard and sacrifice all in one. Otherwise, Dark Petition, find combo pieces, some more removal, a bunch of lands, a ton of different sideboard cards, and that is Turgrid Deathcloud for Modern. That's our Against Odds deck for this week. Let's jump into some games, see if we can beat our opponents to death with their own creatures thanks to Turgrid God of Fright. So, thanks for watching, enjoy the games, and I'll be back in a bit with a wrap-up. Alright, Against the Odds time, we are, ooh, Turgriding. Alright, alright, alright. I mean, we can get down Turgrid pretty quickly. Turn, well, we'll see. We'll see what we draw. Uh, land and Arbor Elf. Turgrid, Death Cloud, Lombo Combo, and other sacrifice shenanigans. Alright, so opponent's playing Primeval. Oh, there's Death Cloud. Well, alright. Uh, tap, untap. Mindstone. Vern Catacombs. Well, step one is we gotta. <laughs> we gotta get down Turgrid, and then we need to Death Cloud before we die. Amulet. Oh boy. Okay. The question is are we gonna be fast enough? Bounce land, untaps. We could mini Death Cloud next turn, but it's just so much less exciting. One, two, three, four. I mean, so I think our plan is is gonna be to run oh, there's Explore. I think our plan's gonna be to run out Turgrid. Hope we live another turn and can Death Cloud the following turn for the win. Opponent going off. We can't Garrick into Turgrid, but we can boy. We could just Death Cloud right now. Liliana's Triumph, well, Windswept Teeth, crack it. Overgrown Tomb, untapped. Yeah, we gotta wait. I mean, you don't, you don't build a Turgrid deck and then Death Cloud before Turgrid. Huh, run out Turgrid, go. Hope that we live and get to resolve this Death Cloud. If we do, it's a little awkward that we're gonna have to bounce a land, but we're gonna have to bounce one of our opponent's lands back to their hand. Oh, if they have double amulet, then we're dead, most likely. About it. Dryad. That's extra land drops. Yep. Well, we'll see. Slayer Stronghold, Castle Garenbrig. Really would like another land here, honestly. If we draw another land, then we can at least get rid of all the creatures and we get to steal the Dryad. There's a Valakut. Well, this is it. Give us that land, Ancient Stirrings. Well, I mean, maybe we're okay either way. 
It's going to depend on what's in our opponent's hand, because we get to steal those cards, too. Right now, it's sack two lands, two creatures, discard two. If we draw a land, it can hit three creatures. I think we win for sure. Or, like, Utopia Sprawl would be good. Opponent. Oh. Okay, so, Utopia Sprawl on black. That should do it. That's the draw we wanted. Tap, untap. Tap, tap, tap. Death Cloud. X3. Discard our cards. <laughs> Come to our side of the battlefield. I hope there's a Primeval Titan in hand. Uh, yes, we will. Sex, sex. Put on sex, sex, sex. We will steal. Oh my god. Wow. That's ridiculous. Okay. There's a prime time. Get a couple lands. And Dryad. Pass the turn. All right. Well, we got the prime time now. I guess we could have stacked those triggers differently. Opponent, Amulet. We could have stacked the triggers differently that maybe would have made it more beneficial. Watch our opponent just top deck another prime time. That would be ridiculous. All right, opponent passes. We go to combat. We attack you. We tutor out lands, Field of Ruin, and Verdant Catacombs. Hit ya. Down to nine. <laughs> <laughs> this Liliana's Triumph actually does answer Primeval Titan if our opponent finds it. Before it kills us, at least. Azusa, sure. And a Bounce Land, also sure. Oh, wait. Well, all right. So we don't have quite have lethal here. But our opponent's not doing anything either. Opponent passes. Well, thin the deck. Get a Swamp. Untap. Catacombs. Mmm. Yeah, let's crack this, thin the deck. Get a Forest. Field of Ruin, a Bounce Land. Go to combat, smack ya. Uh, Windswept Teeth and Vern Catacombs. I mean, I think it worked. We managed to steal the Primeval Titan, which I think is enough. Opponent goes to three, untaps, and I. S all right, all right, all right, all right. Turgrid stealing Prime Time. Enough that time. Uh, do we have any specific hate for this deck? Not really. I mean, I guess Death Cloud is our main land hate. We can bring in Thoughtseize. And that's, I guess, it. Bring in Thoughtseize. Probably go down Curse of the Cabal. Curse of the Cabal seems funny if we get it to go off, but uh, it is a lot of mana. And what else? Well, let's go down one Garrick. Run it like that. We'll keep the Edicts. Well, I mean, that was what we were trying to do. Turgrid, Death Cloud, steal a finisher, win the game while you have no resources. And it worked out that time. Sadly, the way Death Cloud is worded, the land sacking comes after the creature sacking, which makes it hard to actually steal the opponent's lands, unless we somehow have enough creatures that we don't have to sack Turgrid, which is very unlikely in our deck. We'd have to make, like, a lot of Garrick tokens or something. So we don't get the lands, but we do get all the permanents from our opponent's hand and all the creatures they sacrifice, which hopefully is just enough. Uh, yeah. One land no keep, I think. Well, okay. Yeah, I mean, no ramp is awkward, but two thought seizes into... Eh, I'll keep Death Cloud. Two thought seizes into uh, Liliana's Triumph could be good. Radiant Fountain for our opponent. Passes. We draw. Arbor Elf. Well, Winds Up Teeth, crack it. Overgrown Tomb, untapped. Thought sees you. Karn, Ancient Stirrings, Dismember, Bounce Lands. Um, well, take the card. Pass the turn. Bounce land for our opponent. So we know that our Arbor Elf can die. Liliana's Triumph. Well, Lens Up Teeth, crack it, Overgrow Tube, untapped. We will just uh, kill ourselves here. <laughs> Take a Ancient Stirrings. Arbor Elf. Go. Well, we do really need land. Radiant Fountain for our opponent. Because I assume our Arbor Elf is going to die here to dismember. Well, not yet. Um, well, go to combat. Attack you for one. Arbor Elf. Go. About it. Bounce land. Pegs up Radiant Fountain. Hmm. You know what? Let's, uh, let's Turgrid's, let's Lantern. Do we Lantern? Turgrid dies to this member anyway. Yeah, let's, uh, let's Lantern and start hitting our opponent just like we drew it up. Tap on tap tap. Turgrid's Lantern. I mean, this is kind of a clock. Pass the turn. I mean, if we draw the mana, we could just Death Cloud and put our opponent low on lands and then hope slash trust that... Lantern is going to get us there. It would be a lot easier if we drew a land. The other thing is they can beast within, which is a concern. Oh no, is this amulet? Ooh, about it. Okay, beast withins. 
Oh, we untap. Tap, tap, untap. Play a Liliana. Take it up. And I think we actually discard Death Cloud for now, sadly. Boy, it would be nice to dodge Primeval Titan for one turn. Because if we can untap with Liliana's Triumph and Liliana, we should be able to get our opponent empty-handed. Although, well, I pitched the Dismember. Although, if Prime Time comes down this turn, maybe it's going to be too late. Slayer Stronghold. All right, there's a Prime Time. Well, we shall see. Opponent. Going to get some lands. No Amulet, thankfully. If they get two Bounce lands, well, we'll see. Oh, uh, that's fine. So opponent gets Teleria West and a Colony Garden, but this doesn't stop us from cleaning out our opponent's hand. So Vern Catacombs, Liliana's Triumph, Sack Discard, Crack Catacombs, get a Forest, Untap, Liliana's Triumph, Sack Discard, take up Liliana. Well, now we just gotta basically fade a top deck for a few turns, put it. Ancient Sturigs, thankfully, cannot hit Primeval Titan. Best case, they hit another Teleria West, I guess, and can tutor it up. All right, just a Simic Growth Chamber. Their problem is, if they play it and bounce the Teleria West, we just take up Liliana and make them discard it. Yeah. But they don't have enough mana to play what they tutor, right? Okay, Transmute. Summoner's Pack. But how does this get around Liliana? Opponent passes. Play a Swamp. Take up Liliana. Opponent packs. Isn't this the worst outcome for them? They get the creature... Unless they have, like, a Bayloth, then I guess it makes some sense. Ha! We got him! <laughs> all right! All right, all right! Well, I mean, Deathcloud Turgrid game one, steal the primetime win. Game two, just kind of pieced it together with uh, with Liliana's and eating the removal with Turgrid's Lantern. So, wow, that actually kind of worked. Sweet, sweet, sweet. All right, uh... Against the odds time, we are Turgrid Death Clouding in modern. And, well, no Turgrid, but we got ramp, removal, and death cloud, so I guess we keep that and trust that we draw into Turgrids and so forth. Opponents on Luris, which probably Death Shadow, I guess. Eudobius Brawl on black. Opponent. Okay. <laughs> Were they thinking about force of negationing a Utopius Brawl? Oh boy, it's Boggles. Well, good news, bad news. Oh my god, that's Turgrid. Good news, bad news situation. Good news is uh, Death Cloud is a way to kill Boggles. Bad news is we do need one more black mana to be able to cast it effectively. I guess at some point we can cast it. Well, we'll see. We're definitely Turgriding next turn, and then we're hoping to draw one more black source for Death Cloud before we die. Opponent. Ethereal Armor. All right. Well, it is big. Boy, actually, if we draw Black Source, we might have to just cast it. Opponent hits us. Oh. Can we literally die this turn is the question. We also have to take damage from Turgrid. You know what? I think we just got a Death Cloud, awkwardly. So, uh, Death Cloud, X2. This is going to get all of our opponent's lands. Yeah. We'll discard Fatal Push and land. Oh! don't even need to all right oh boy okay well uh, good try boggles the good news about our deck versus boggles is uh we actually have a hilarious amount of hate because we're <laughs> not only do we have death cloud but we also have <laughs> all right our uh, our opponent realize as we were talking about the hilarious amount of hate that we have for this matchup uh, not only do we have four Death Clouds in the main deck, we also have four Liliana's Triumph. Our main removal spell is an Edict. And we have four Liliana of the Veils. Our main Planeswalker is an Edict. Uh, I think our opponent correctly realized that there is very little chance they actually beat <laughs> what our deck is doing. And, uh, well, yeah, free win. Free win. We'll take it. All right. Against the odds time, we are playing some Turgrid Death Cloud in Modern. And this hand does not have any payoffs, but we can ramp and kill things. And who knows when Death Cloud and Turgrid will come off the... Oh boy. All right. Control A. Well, we'll see how this goes. Forest and Utopia Sprawl on Black Go. Oh, we got lots of mana. Can we find something to do with it? Raven's Crime. Well, we will discard a Liliana's Triumph. Flooded Strand for our opponent. Big draw. 
Mind Stone. Well, Windswept Heath. Crack Windswept Heath. Get a Forest. Utopia Sprawl on Black. Mind Stone. I mean, we have all the mana we will ever need, I think. Pass the turn. Opponent Cracks. Triome. Untaps. Polluted Delta. Cracks it. Liliana would be bad for us. Well, if our opponent plays it, if we play it, it'd be good for us. Loam's back a land. And Raven's Crime. Um, yeah, let's discard the Swamp. More land. Uh, yeah, let's crack this. Draw another one. Play another one. Play a Swamp past the turf. Well, <laughs> so far we've still not drawn any payoffs. Opponent Loam's. Ugh, Maelstrom Pulse on our Utopia Sprawls would be obnoxious. Polluted Delta. Oh boy, cracks it. If this ends with Jace, I'm very worried about a Planeswalker. Death Cloud can get us out of a lot of situations, but Planeswalkers are not one of the easier ones. Looms back some lands. So I assume our opponent's going to make us discard our hand here. Raven's Crime, discard a Fatal Push. Raven's Crime, discard Overgrown too. Uh, well, we'll wait to the end step, crack the Mind Stone, draw Turgrid or something, Arbor Elf, and Fatal Push. All right, well, Arbor Elf go. <laughs> we just can't find a payoff. About it. Dredges Loom, and Loom's back lands, plays a land. Yeah, we're pretty close to just being locked out of this game. We discard Fatal Push. I assume our opponent also has counters, so that's going to make... Well, we'll see. We get a draw here with our opponent tapped down. We really need to draw a real card this turn. Where can Catacombs go? Huh. Opponent cracks. Well, this is awkward. No Turgrids, no Planeswalkers, no Death Clouds. Lots of ramp and many cards discarded. <laughs> opponent. There's the Jace. Yeah, I think once our opponent plays a finisher, we probably concede. We'll see. Opponent cycles Lonely Sandbar, and Loam's Back lands. Yeah, this is a card advantage engine that i just not sure how we beat. Crack from Catacombs, Overgrown Tomb tapped. Untap. Draw something big and have it miraculously resolve? Garrick. Well, we're going to play it. Does our opponent have counters? They do. Yeah, all right. Fair enough. I mean, are we technically dead? No. Are we ever going to do anything that is fun or exciting? Also, no. <laughs> We'll bring in Veil of Summers, we'll bring in Nile Spell Bombs, or a Nile Spell Bomb, and maybe Thought Seize? Go down Fatal Push, and I guess Liliana's, tr well, go down Damnation, go down our non-Old Border Liliana's Triumphs, try it like that. All right, so I think what we gotta do is resolve something early. The problem, so our opponent is gonna strip our hand, and that is uh, going to make it hard for us to do anything. So we need to be able to resolve like Turgrid's Lantern or Liliana, something like that early in the game, I think is is our best shot in this matchup. Otherwise, we just get picked apart. Doesn't seem like the best Turgrid matchup. Opponent had some fetch lands, but they're playing a lot of non-fetch lands and cycling lands and whatnot. Draft Digger's Cage doesn't do much against a Loam deck. The problem with that last game was just, we're essentially soft locked out of the game. Like, our opponent can keep us empty-handed forever, so we gotta cast whatever we draw, and then our opponent can just counter whatever we draw, so it would take a long time for us to... You know what? I think we, I think we actually keep this. It is a one-lander, which is definitely sketchy, but we have a Graveyard Hate. We have Ramp when we draw one more land. I'll take the Thought Seize past the turn. Come on, land! Come on, land! Worst case, I guess we can cycle this Nile Spell Bomb at some point. Land? Not even close. Well, Nile Spellbomb go. About it. We do have some good cards for our opponent to make us discard, that's for sure. Flooded Strand for our opponent passes. Land? Utopia Sprawl. Well, alright. Utopia Sprawl on Guess Green go. About it. Cracks Flooded Strand. It's an island. Gross Spiral. We know they got a plenty of lands to put into play. Huh. Maybe keeping this one lander was not worth it. I guess last game we just had so little action that seeing a bunch of cards that do things was pretty appealing, but <laughs> cards that do things require mana to cast to actually do things. About it. Snapcaster Mage. Well, I mean, I think I think we're going to crack this spell bomb. We don't get to draw a card, but we also don't get thought seized, which is kind of like drawing a card. Oh, golly. <laughs> Well, this might be a quick one. Ghost Quarter. Yeah, 
this is a... We have a lot of basics, which is nice, but... Land? My god. Utopia's Brawl, I'm black. Yeah, this might just be our nightmare matchup. <laughs> Discard counters, land destruction loops. This just might be what a, what Turgrid does not want to play against. Opponent goes to combat. Hits us. Down to 14. Lingering souls. Opponent passes. Not a land. We'll play a mine. Yeah, I think... Uh, I think we're probably pretty dead here. We took out a removal. I mean, I don't want to get yelled at for scooping early, so we'll stick around a couple more turns, but I don't know how we beat a Lingering Souls. We didn't bring in Rass. We took out our removal. So, uh, so yeah, this five-color loam pile does not seem like what we want to play against. Pona hits us. Down to ten. Can't cast anything. All right, now we will scoop. There's just no way. All right, uh... Against the odds time, we are playing some Turgrid Deathcloud in Modern, and, eh, don't have any ramp, which is awkward, but we got some removal. Worst case, we can Turgrid's Lantern and try to torment a Hailfire, maybe? A ramp spell is what we'd like to draw most, just like a Utopia Sprawl or something. Go Scorter. Not a Utopia Sprawl, please. Abounded. Ether Vile, so taxes by the looks. Well, I guess we better have Verdant Catacombs... Now, in case our opponent has Leon and Arbiter, opponent taking up the vial. Well, we'll see. Silent clearing. Opponent passing. Well, crack the catacombs. Get a overgrown tomb tapped. Undap. <sighs> Let's play the swamp, and I think we pass for now. Like, playing Mindstone only to have one of our lands get hit by Arbiter. I don't know if that's a win. And then you could also, like, Skyclave Apparition it. So I think we just gotta leave up Triumph here. Abonant. Taking up the vial. Next turn, we can Mind Stone, potentially, and pay for a Ghost Quarter Arbiter shenanigan. Shambling Vent. Vial's in. Tide Hallow. Sculler. Sure. Well, that's fine. We got two Liliana's Triumph, so even if they take one, we can get back the other one. Yeah, it takes a Triumph. Well, end of turn. Triumph you. Get back our triumph, untap, forest, and mindstone. Pass the turn. Well, we can potentially play Turgrid next turn, which is actually a kind of hilarious hard counter to Ghost Quarter and Silent Clearing. Like, if our opponent sacks them, we get them, which is pretty great. Opponent could also have Path, which we don't really have an answer for at the moment. Oh, boot it. Vials in. Even Mind Sensor. Okay. Well, we will Liliana's Triumph. I don't know what our opponent was expecting to happen, but they knew about the Triumph, too. Uh, yes, we will get a land. We'll take a Swamp. I mean, we are just going to slam Turgrid. If our opponent's got Path, they got Path, but... Oh, Garrick, too. We'll play the land. And, uh, yeah, Turgrid. The God of Fright past the turn. We don't have Deathcloud, but we do have Torment of Hailfire, which is uh, something. Would prefer not to get Path, but if it happens, it happens. Doesn't get Skyclave Apparition, which is sweet. I only do have Path. All right. Well, at least we get a land. And that does ramp us towards Torment. Get a Forest. Opponent untaps. Well, I mean, Garrick, do some ramping. Hope for Deathcloud or, <laughs> or cast a big Torment of Hailfire and see what happens. Seems somewhat legit. I guess we can, at some point, crack Mindstone to draw a card. Opponent, last card is a three drop. That three drop is... Eldrazi Displacer. Well, that is good against our Garrick. I can blink the beast tokens. Yeah, here comes Shambly. All right, deck. All right, deck. Another Turgrid, please. Opponent hits us. We can cast Torment for five, but that's not really lethal. Down to 17. Hmm. All right, so Crack. Crack Mindstone draw a card, which turns on Fatal Push to get rid of the Displacer, which is huge. Well, Fatal Push. Kill Displacer, play a Swamp, Garrick, 3-3, three, three, go. All right, that was a good turn. Fatal Push was a good draw. Right now we can Torment for six? That's not lethal quite, but it's actually kind of close. <laughs> Do not get a chance to win many modern games with Torment of Hailfire. Hopefully our opponent doesn't draw a Thought Knot. I actually kind of want to cast this. Opponent, Vile, I assume it stays on three. Yeah. Opponent can draw with Silent Clearing. Oh, if that Turgrid had lived. Opponent. Cash is in the Silent Clearing. Thalia. I'll play a Forest. 
go to combat, attack, and opponent takes it. Well, take down Garrick, make a beast. New Garrick. Take down Garrick, make a beast. Next turn, if nothing goes horribly wrong, could be the Torment of Hailfire turn. About it. Well, we were like just short because they could sack stuff, but. And the Thalia slows us down by one. But with the beast, I mean, just full on Torment of Hailfire into Attack with Beast, that's probably enough. No discard, please. No Thought Knots, no Tide Hollows. Just. <laughs> just accept the Torment of Hailfire opponent. It'll be fine. You get to choose. It's a Punisher card, so it's bad, right? Our opponent, our opponent has the control over it. <laughs> oh, boot it. Oh, man, I still wish our Turgrid had lived. Oh, they drew it! All right. Well, that's a, that is a big draw for our opponent. That means our opponent could potentially survive for the time being. Fatal push? One more time? About it. Death Cloud would also be game. Like, because we get to keep our Garrick, and our opponent goes down. Oh, hmm. Well, go to combat. Attack. That is Death Cloud. I mean, I guess our opponent gets to keep the Vial. Opponent goes to nine. Well, one, two, three, one, <laughs> one, two, three. Do we want to sack two lands or three lands? Yeah, I guess we go three. Well, hmm. Yeah, I guess we just go three. Death Cloud X3. We lose our beasts. Opponent loses their hand, all their lands, and we get back the Torment, which should be able to finish it. And opponent agrees. So they had the answer to Turgrid, did not have the answer to a. Uh, <laughs> to uh, Death Cloud, though. So, let's see. Damnation in. <sighs> Kalidus gets got by Skyclave Apparition. Maelstrom Pulse is probably fine. We can go down the Curse of Cabal's probably a, maybe a bit on the cute side. Um, Death Cloud Torment, Turgrid. I guess we can go down Dark Petition. Maybe just try it like that. Like, we got removal, we got sweepers. Could bring in Binding. Yeah, I think that's fine. Yeah, Death Cloud's quite the magic card. <laughs> Obviously, it is sweetest when we get to steal our opponent's stuff and win with Turgrid, but even without Turgrid, just uh, sacrifice all your stuff, sometimes that's enough. Sometimes that's enough all by itself. <laughs> Who would have thought? All right, we are on the draw for game number two. Uh, ah, the one land nut draw. You know what, I think we keep this. I'm mostly scared because we've seen Ghost Quarter, and uh, Ghost Quarter on our Utopia Sprawl Land is pretty brutal. And we don't have black mana, so we probably just have to do that. Well, we'll see. We will see what happens. Opponent goes to six. Silent Clearing and passes. Well, Forest and Arbor Elf, go. If our opponent passes it, that's fine because we get a land. If they have Fatal Push, that's not fine. About it. Eldrazi Temple and Leonin Arbiter. Okay. Well, we will Utopia Sprawl on black. Untap. Fatal Push the Arbiter. Vernon Catacombs. Crack Vernon Catacombs. Get a Overgrown Tomb untapped. Mindstone. Go. Well, one, two, three, four. If our stuff lives, it's Turgrid time, and we got the Death Cloud in hand. I guess our opponent could still get some value out of just Ghost Quarter. Just getting our forest, but oh, we're close. We were super close to the combo. Opponent. Eldrazi of some type. Displacer, sure. Hmm. I mean, I think we're going for the gold. <laughs> we gotta we gotta just run out Turgrid. Like, it could get path. It's definitely possible. But uh Turgrid? Got a fright? Don't worry about it. <laughs> Nothing will go wrong if you just let us untap, I promise. <laughs> oh, come on, opponent. Just cast just cast a random creature. Not a thought seize creature, just a random creature. And then the Death Cloud should steal this game. Even just Liliana's insane with Turgrid. About it. Phyrexian Revoker. Oh! Okay, okay. Opponent. So they can name Arbor Elf, which does mean we'd need to draw land to Death Cloud. Yeah. So no Death Cloud unless we draw land. If we draw land, though. Then we're gonna do it. That's a land. All right. Oh no, we don't have the black mana. Well, we're not gonna do that. So we will play Liliana. Take it down. Wow, sex a displacer. Interesting. Uh, go to combat. Attack you. 
We even have the Mind Stone for colorless mana, so we can actually activate Displacer, which is kind of hilarious about it. Opponent's in trouble. They're in serious trouble. All right, they hit the land, which is good for our opponent. I don't know if our opponent knows how close they are to complete disaster. They gotta answer this Turgrid, or they are in real trouble. Flicker Wisp. Okay, so I assume the idea is to get back the Displacer. I guess that's kind of a combo. Bad news for our opponent means this means Liliana lives. Opponent combat attacks Liliana. Well, we will block. Opponent gets back Displacer. Well, there it is. Windswept Teeth. Crack Windswept Teeth. And, uh, combo. It's a combo. <laughs> this is what we've been waiting for. Yeah, I mean, this is just super duper alter game. <laughs> Windswept Teeth, Overgrown Tube, Opponent. Apologies in advance. Uh, we will Death Cloud X3. Uh, we'll discard Maelstrom Pulse. <laughs> well, let's see uh, what goodies we get. Potent must discard three cards. They're likely permanents. Wow, this is the... Oh, we get the GGs. Yeah, this is the, the Brutalist. Just beating our opponent... <laughs> beating our opponent down with their own cards. An opponent... Yeah, they just... <laughs> they just scoop it up. They do not want to see uh <laughs> to see the end result of the death cloud which yeah, i guess uh, i guess i can't blame him although i mean i guess that's one of the problems with this deck is when we do pull off the combo i guess our opponents just assume they're dead so we don't actually necessarily get to steal all of the creatures because our opponent just scoops but yeah i guess scooping's good too <laughs> sweet all right uh against the odds type we are greedily keeping one landers with a turgrid death cloud well all right, Utopia Sprawl on black. The hard part of this one's gonna be resolving stuff, I think. Liliana would be spectacular. Land off the top would be the best. Oh, hmm, Jeskai Control? Well, all right, Utopia Sprawl on, I guess, black. Please don't have a ghost quarter or we scoop. About it, cracks Flooded Strand. Island and is it Charm? All right, well, I'm expecting lots of counters. I guess we'll see. Anger, Lightning Bolt, oh boy. Uh, also, Blood Moon makes us scoop. Certain Visions. Yeah, Blood Moon is the ultimate blowout here, because we lose all of our Utopia Sprawls, and then we're hard locked. Well, Field of Ruin, and Liliana. Opponent, Force Negation, Pitches Snapcaster, uh, untaps land, Blood Moon, we scoop. Opponent, untaps land. Well, no Blood Moon. So we don't have to scoop yet. Damnation doesn't seem great. Well, we will play Liliana of the Veil. Opponent. More counters. All right, so opponents on the, the counters for days plan. Yeah, this is probably the... these This type of matchup, I think, is probably our worst. Well, you know what? We are going to Liliana of the Veil. Third time the charm? Eh? Eh? Force negation number two. Jeez, um... Opponent land, tapped. Blood Moon, we scoop it up. Well, opponent drew, yeah. Okay, so, is there any way this ends with us winning? We get Veil of Summers, we get Thought Seizes, we get Collective Brutalities, we get to go down Damnations and Torment of Hailfires and Curse of the Cabals. Uh, Dark Petition. Bring in Maelstrom Pulse, Binding of the Old Gods. Go down one Garrick. Go down uh, maybe two Liliana's Triumphs. I think we don't mind drawing one because it can stop an Emrakul, but... ay 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 ay. Well, I mean, we get a little bit of hate for what our opponent's doing. Uh, we are not going to keep this one, Lander. All right, well, we'll keep this one. Two lands is something. Ugh, our opponent just has so many counters. All right, opponent thinks keeps we will put collective brutality at the bottom well windswept teeth crack windswept teeth get a forest and utopia sprawl on black past the turn opponent deep in the tank i mean this hand's not bad if we can resolve things and if our opponent chooses to play all right opponent decides on basic island and a serum visions opponent passes well Overgrown Tomb, untapped. Utopia Sprawl on green. Mind Stone, past the turd. Well, can we can we fade the counters? 
Can we draw a veil of summer at thought seas? That would also be acceptable. Opponent passing. Well, we will play a Garrick. Do we have counter number one? <sighs> yeah. All right. Counter one. We pass the turn. Opponent. Land. Serum visions to the bottom. Passes. Well, land. Let's try this again. Garrick. Do we have counter number two? No. Untap two lands. Turgrid. Pass the turn. Well, let's see what happens. Opponent ops. Untaps. Loot house. Passes. Now, let's crack Mindstone. Go to combat. Attack. Make a beast. Pass the turn. I mean, our Liliana's Triumph is an answer if our opponent is going to try to breach an Emrakul, which I assume is what their deck is trying to do. Uh, opponent, going to give us a free land. Doesn't actually do much in our deck, but it's a permanent to sack to Emrakul, <laughs> so that's something. Opponent, Sulfur Falls. Breach. Oh, oh, it's happening. Uh, sure. Beginning of combat. Liliana's Triumph? Oh yeah, we got answers. We got answers! We got answers! Uh, yes, I think we would like to put that into play under our control. <laughs> the Reverse Arito! The Reverse Arito! Oh! Yes! Yeah, oh, that's the Turk of Dream. I did not expect us to be stealing Emrakuls, but that's us stealing Emrakuls. <laughs> oh, that was beauteous. Wow. Well, <laughs> we're probably going to get wrecked in, uh, in game two, but or game three, but... But, 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 for one brief, beautiful, shining moment, <laughs> we stole an Emrakul with Turgrid with Liliana's Triumph. Oh, that was so good. Um, all right. I can't, maybe we want three Liliana's Triumphs. Three is kind of the number where it's like, we really want to draw one of these. <sighs> Binding and Maelstrom Pulse get rid of Blood Moon, which is somewhat relevant. And also, I guess, Planeswalkers. All right, let's go down one Mind Stone. Run it like that. All right. Well, that was the dream. <laughs> oh, so good. So, so good. Well, I guess we keep this. It's a little scary since we only got two lands and our ramp dies. Oh, wow. Is this so we can get rid of their own Emrakuls? <laughs> I think it is. I think our opponent is... <laughs> is playing around getting their Emrakul edicted with Turgrid out. Please don't kill our Arbor Elf. Opponent passes. Um, Overgrown Tomb tapped. Well, this isn't bad. Next turn we can resolve Liliana, assuming our Arbor Elf lives. We're going to leave it back. I don't think one damage is that relevant. Opponent ops. Sure. Untaps. Steam vents. Untapped. And passing. Well, Vernon Catacombs, crack it for a swamp. Utopia Sprawl on black. Tap, untap, tap. Hmm, how do we want to do this? Liliana into Turgrid? We can't really Garrick. Yeah, let's Liliana. Opponent's going to Remand. Um, all right, let's uh, Veil of Summer. Wow, all right, and Force of Negation. So, opponent, bad news is we get Remanded. Good news is... Our opponent spent a lot of cards to resolve this remand. Uh, that does not mean we don't just lose to an Emrakul, potentially, but we'll see. Opponent, three cards in hand. Down multiple counters. Sacks the Relic. Desperation mode. Running out of counters. Plays a land. Jace, the Mind Sculptor. Pretty good. Better than all, some might say. <laughs> Gonna brainstorm. Well, a little scared. A little scared of where we're at. Especially since our opponent could have more force and negations. One, two, three, four, five, six. Another Utopia Sprawl. Well, Utopia Sprawl on green. Actually, do we need black? All right, what's our plan for this turn? So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. We can Garrick for free. None of this stops us from losing to Emrakul. I'll put it on black. Tap, untap. Garrick, untap. Turgrid, go. Well, if they got Breach Emrakul, the fun ends. We do not have the Edict this time. About it. Come on. No Emrakuls, no Breaches, no Emrakuls, no Breaches. Okay, Sir Visions, that's not an Emrakul or a Breach. Well, we'll see, opponent. Brainstorms with Jace. Thossies would be a nice draw. In theory, we should be able to kill this Jace. Opponent plays a land and passes, maybe. Opponent passes. We draw Liliana. Well, go to combat. Attack the Jace. 
opponent ops. Well, that means no cryptic opponent. Snapcasters. Doesn't actually stop it, though, because we have menace. All right. Well, okay. This is not bad for us. Opponent. No, no, menace. But menace. Not going to work. Not going to work. You can keep and try as much as you want. There we go. Opponent realizes their Jace is dead. Well, tap, play Turgrid's Lantern. Actually, maybe we don't. How do we want to do this? All right, let's play Liliana. Take up Liliana. Actually, you know what? Let's take down Liliana. Steal the Snapcaster. I think our main plan right now is trying to get permanence on the battlefield so we don't die to Emrakul. Turgrid's Lantern. Lose some life. And a post group up! Oh my goodness! Oh, we are turgriding the, <laughs> the heck out of people! Wow! The Emrakul steal was the all-time highlight, but we just fought through. I mean, opponent counters for days, Jace on the battlefield, not good enough. Turgrid's Menace, the sneaky ability no one, including myself, remembers. Key to that one. Well, <laughs> <laughs> this deck works. Sweet, sweet. So what do we learn this week about Turgrid Deathcloud in Modern? And the deck actually kind of works surprisingly well. We went 4-1 and one with the deck. Uh, one game, we kind of just scared our opponent away. They were on Boggles. And once they saw Deathclouds in Liliana's, in Liliana's Triumph, they just didn't want any piece of us and scooped after game one. But the deck actually felt oddly competitive. It's a deck that feels very good against creature decks, a little less good against spell-based combo decks, but still, the plan works worked really well, and we had some spectacular, absolutely spectacular Turgrid moments. Uh, we got the good Death Cloud moments, but by far the best moment, I think, was our opponent breaching that Emrakul, us getting it with Liliana's Triumph, and getting on our side of the battlefield. What could be better than that? So, the deck was sweet, and Turgrid was sweet, and Turgrid, along with being our combo piece, is also just kind of like a weird hate card, where people crack fetch lands, or are playing sacrifice effects, and we can just kind of naturally get them. So the deck was sweet. It was effective all around. Turret is just a really spectacular card. So that's been our against odds for this week. Turgrid Death Cloud for Modern. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching. And I will talk to you soon. Dying for more spoiler coverage? Well, we've got you covered with daily spoiler videos every single day during spoiler season. Plus, you can always find the latest by heading over to mtgpreviews.com.